shout out to Supersonic Barkus and SRM Gaming. What's the worst of the index I'm trying to? This is my favorite book. Still don't like read. Still don't like reading though by Jay Animation. If y'all don't know why she edited the last part, it's because she made a video saying she doesn't like reading and she explained why. Which, understandable. I don't like reading either, but since I don't have the best English, I have to. Yeah, so she uploaded a new video, so we are going to rant out. Also, DA Games uploaded a new video, a new song, so we're going to also have to rant to that. So, after we rant to this first. Yeah, so yes, don't, don't forget to like and subscribe. And it's fine, we'll upload a new video constantly. So, yes, don't forget to say yes, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's fine, we'll upload a new video constantly. So, let's get to the video. Uh, three, two, one, we have our any cheese. So. This is a weird video to follow up with after I just talked about how much I don't like reading for like seven minutes. But uh -huh. I guess it kind of works out because since you've obviously seen that video, right? We don't yeah, have I saw the video. I, I reacted to it. I can go check out the reaction. Crushing shambles. So what book could someone like me who's been forever ruined from the past haunting memories of reading call a favorite? Harry Potter? Lord of the Rings? Never watch Harry Potter? Grapes of Wrath? Nope. None never of these saw none of those books, actually. I, even, I never hold watched a candle to Harry the Potter. Masterpiece. Leave it to Pet, The Misadventures of a Recycled Super Robot. Oh. Is this a joke? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I read this book in sixth grade when I was 11. And I'll preface it with, yes, it's a manga. Do I want to get into the debate if manga, comic books, or graphic novels are considered real mm. books? Since I don't, I don't read, I don't, I don't even know remember what that, what's how I stumbled on this book. I remember owning it, so it might have been a gift for my parents or a friend, but your guess is as good as mine. Mm, we can this say is it's good. a gift from the Lord. Leave it to Pet, Jesus. the misadventures of a recycled super robot, is about this nine year old boy, Noboru, who recycled the orange juice bottle. The recycling plant wanted to say thanks for recycling and sent this little bottle robot called Pet to rescue him whenever he needs help or is in danger. Sounds great. So, whenever he's getting bullied, it's gonna save him? Is actually trash just kidding pets childish easily distracted and overly confident in his abilities which results in him making situations comedically worse and not being able to fix anything also i don't know oh, if you picked up okay. on this but this is not a high reading level book don't make fun of me for liking it the book starts off with pet introducing you can like any book it doesn't really really matter friends are being picked on by bullies but when he arrives to save the day no one understands what pet is or is supposed to do or why he's here Obviously, what would you do if this thing walks up and starts talking to you? I would say, what the oh! So Pet explains, I'm the orange juice bottle you recycled the other day. And Nabora's like, I don't know what you're talking right about. Here. And Pet's oh. like, I can't believe you don't remember. Freak. And the Freak. Dynamic grows from there. There's not really a specific story. It's more episodic chapters where the characters are in different everyday scenarios that just get a little out of hand. And Pat, of course, is being a little bag of trash complicating things that should have been an easy fix or weren't even problems to begin with. Chapter 7 is but just making fun. more he out trouble. With his friends and his line is caught on some rocks, so he calls for Pet. Leave it to Pet, what seems to be the problem? And as Nabor is explaining, Pet gets overpowered by the current. Not a problem. It's like it never happened. Pet assesses the situation. I see your hook is stuck at the bottom of the river. Ka-ching, ka-ching. I know Chong. exactly what to do. Whoosh. And he cuts the line off. Namor is like, what the heck, dude? And Pet's like, Great. what, you wanted that old thing? And he's like, yes, of course I wanted it. More characters are introduced later on, but my favorites are P2, where in his debut, when he's describing how he's the new and improved pet model with his 200% faster mm. speed, larger body, but lighter weight. Uh, he blows away because he's so light, and Pet's all, dang, that's awesome, and explodes off his arms and legs to try and be lighter too. I wish humans could do that. Also, Bottle Doggy is a Why great Why wish humans could do that now, body around on a leash. I think the reason I love this book so much is, frankly, a lot of nostalgia. Not sure a 20-something-year-old would pick this up and deeply connect with Bottle Doggy's character arc, but the author, Sonishi Kenji, also created, in my opinion, a really cute little knucklehead I just want to have in my life. 
and 11 year old me was obsessed with. Pet became for one of my favorite reason, characters for a bit, and I would draw him all like the time. That would In class, we had a uh, Pokemon for some reason. I don't know why. I had a bit of why. space on the side because mm -hmm. my desk was on the corner. So I drew a little pet and stuck him on the side for the world to see how much of a stan I was. Uh, no one cared. Why are you drawing orange juice? I would make my own little original orange characters juice. Of you orange juice robots you want. that I would want. I believe the original term might be trash Sona and recycled trash extra Sona. things in hopes I could have my own pet. And then she just takes her dad's soda. I was really big on imagination and stuff as a wow. kid, so anything that played around with enhanced wow. reality and fun and creative waves was right up my uh, alley. And it taught me how to recycle, so something. you're welcome, Greta Thunberg. I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk about this. Okay, book. so this book kind of helps kids. Like it slipped under the kind of help kids recycle more. I think it deserves more love so, because the humor in it was suitable this for This is kind of a good book for kids if you think about it. Read through again, and the humor is still suitable. This kind of helps kids so recycle it's fun more. For all ages, or I haven't mentally progressed since grade six. Of course, naturally, there's nothing wrong with having things targeted towards. Oh, adventure age time! Let's go! That, that was an awesome show. Credits like that show. Watch that. Of a recycled super robot, bringing families and people of all ages together with his charm, froggy hat. I actually never read this book before. Muscles. Actually, I'm telling you, there's something in here for everyone. Sure, the story is pretty yeah, simple, I'm flex, but I'm the flex, humor, guys, I'm not even that strong. I'm just kidding. It's great for all ages and guys, doesn't I'm try actually to dumb anything strong. down just, to baby you know. younger readers. I think it's easy to think kids are children until they're not. But they're still people and, and can and tell when you know, they're being they doing their too. own stuff. Now go file your you know, taxes. Like, but they have their own job. Well, anyway, I just really like the book. It's cute, funny. Pet reminds me of Ari if Ari was a recycled super robot made from an orange juice bottle. You can read the from whole thing in like bottle. 20 minutes if not faster. If I were to critique one thing, uh, I wasn't too keen on how they kept introducing new recycled robots, and the crew just started getting a bit too crowded by the end, in my opinion. Damn. Like just a few okay. characters, and would have liked to see them play around with more ideas instead of just bringing in a new character to depend on new ideas for. But Bottle Doggy was a masterpiece. He can stay. There's actually three other books that come after it, but I haven't read them oh. because I'm worried that they won't be as good. And I want to remember Pet as the example of perfect literature it is. Are there hundreds because of books that I would probably first... enjoy more than this because, one you know, if I gave a chance? Sometimes the sequels yes. are kind of bad. But am I still going to end the video without giving a reasonable explanation for me not trying to find them? Yep. Okay. Hey again, it's me. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching the video. I wanted to say thank you to everyone who stopped by the charity live stream the other day. I was oh yeah, that missed the Beast one. Stream. I actually enjoyed it, and then I was like laughing when Tiffany shared Mr. Beast's phone number. But you guys, don't worry, I actually really didn't even try it. Oh, Mr. Beast. I just said. Oh, shit. Okay, so let me explain what happened yesterday. So, um, I'm not. So, thank you to everyone who was there, participated, donated, everything. And thanks to Sean for putting it all together. I had fun, and wow, you guys are just amazing. But don't let it go to waste. Make sure you still stay inside, stay quarantined. No, I'm in staying inside. Everything. We're all in it together. Anyway, thanks for watching my video about a recycled orange juice. Yeah, so if y'all don't know, um. So, if y'all don't know, yesterday. Um, Tifu shared the link to the, um, live stream, and then people was, you know, trying to join, and, and I think it made the live stream crash. Well, like, okay, it made the live stream crash, but, you know, the live stream was, like, still going, because, you know, Mr. Beast has a lot of money, so, of course, he's gonna get a, um, a company to help him do the live stream, of course, why not? Um, so, yeah, and Tifu also shared Mr. Beast's phone number, which, I don't know if people actually really tried to call him, like, I didn't even... Like I didn't even try because I knew what's the what was what was the point of trying to call him. Like yes, yeah, Mr. Beast is one of my favorite YouTubers, but what's the point? And, and Mr. Beast doesn't want people calling him. You know, fans calling him. You know. So yeah, that's, that's it. I hope you guys are up. Just five more playing. That kind of saying it does that. I'll see you soon. Bye.